Okay, good morning. Happy Monday, writers. Happy Monday, Ted. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so I wanted to bring up this topic of success this week because you, Ted Capshaw, taught me so much about this. I'm very lucky that I've been able to go to Ted in certain moments in life and and I had an opportunity presented itself to me. And I just wanted you to tell me yes or no, but that is not Ted style. And you're like, before you take this on, what is success to you? And I was like, good question. It's a big question that a lot of people don't explore, you know? And I think that the question has been more, <clears throat> excuse me, the question, the question has become more complex because of the world that we live in. That's my opinion. Like what I mean by that is like, you know, everything that's available, Facebook and, and, and what the reason I say it's become more complex is that I think human nature, we always are drawn to what's right in front of our view and, and our definition of success oftentimes get the, the, defined by that. Mm. And the complexity now has been everything in our face, like Facebook, everybody's, posting their wins and their new boat and their new house and their, you know, everything. Right. And then we go, Hmm, that highlight reel looks really good. I want that. Mm -hmm. And that is success. Or if I was to ask a room full of 30 somethings and maybe even 50 somethings, how much money do you want to make next year? The resounding answer that I often get is six figures, right? I just want to go make six figures. So again, they have defined some level of success is six figures, right? The interesting thing, and maybe we can get to this another day, but I love exploring that stuff around that. You know, only 16% of America made six figures last year. Wow. In 2021, 16%. Wow. And yet, if I was to stand in front of a room of 100 people, unanimously, the majority of those people, maybe 95% of those people, I want to go make six, six figures not understanding the probability of getting there and all the rest of that. And, that, you know, and so again, media, neighbors, the assumptions that we make about neighbors have, have really helped us define our success. And so the success thing, the, the starting point for me, like you said, I remember having conversations with you, people come to me and they just start throwing out all these different levels of goals and all this other stuff. And, and I just tell people like, do you own your definition of success? And this is a deep, this is the deeper end of the pool for me because mm -hmm. I peel people back all the time that their definition of success is, is really related to what has been posed upon them from their upbringing or their parents mm -hmm. or the neighborhood that they've decided to move in. And, you know, that old cliche of keeping up with the Joneses or whatever it may be. And people are not creating their lives or the definition of success. And so it really requires an introspection look of, you said something a couple of weeks ago, it, this requires gut, gut level honesty. Yeah. Am I just out here chasing something? Or is the language that I'm using matching what I really want? And all too often it doesn't. And that's just real, yeah. you know? It's so funny as well. When I think when you, while you're talking about the six, six figure thing, Six figures is very broad as well, right? Like $100,000 to $999,000. That's very broad. So I think yeah. that specifics are much more attainable as well, like when you're, yeah. you're defining this. And I think that there's also this curse of the Western world that success equals a dollar amount. Yeah. We can go so much bigger and broader than that. <clears throat> and I think about a writer that, that you know, I've spoken to, and I was so surprised when she, because you know, AWA does, um, it does talk about the six figure dream because it is attainable for writers. But she was like, she was a successful writer, but couldn't crack that six figure, and for many years, and because and she felt like a failure because she couldn't hit that mark. Meanwhile, then she took a step back and was like, hang on. I want to be able to go on like uh, quarterly vacations for a week with my family. I want to be able to homeschool my children. That is success to me, not the six figures, right? So yeah. she had to reconfigure what that success was for herself. And that's what we're talking about. And I think that's why I also say, take away just the dollar amount. I think it's what, paint the picture of your lifestyle, right? Paint what you want your lifestyle to look like. 
and then back into like what dollar amount makes that happen and makes that work and then go at it and see what you want. And look, she eventually got there when her kids moved out of the house that she no longer get to homeschool the kids. But I think that there's, there's so much tied to money, but yet this, it's, it's all, yeah. it's, it's sad that so much is tied to money. Now, I think what's required here, I think we need to peel this thing back into di- like different conversations, you know, as I'm listening to you talk, because I think you're right that so much of success where we get stuck in the conversation of money. Now, having said that, I think we need to have a completely separate and s- specific conversation about money. Okay. As it, as it relates to success, because money, it's something that I haven't talked a lot about in recent years. I'm talking about it all the time because the truth be told is it's an important topic, Yeah. but we don't really have our arms wrapped around it. We're throwing vague things out like six figures or we're predicating all success on money. And particularly in an entrepreneur, excuse me, particularly in a, when you become a solopreneur, some of the be- benefits of being a solopreneur far outweigh the financial benefits of it. It's true, right? Yes. As a great friend of mine who is a wealth advisor, when I became a solopreneur, she told me to pay attention to the choices that you have in life now. And I'll never forget that because, and she was so right. As a solopreneur, you can choose to wake up and forgo your day. You're not going to work today. Yeah. You can choose to do X or you can choose to take this client. Like there's so many choices and you talk about success, but had I not been coached to really pay attention and define it in that way, it wouldn't have been come to fruition. So I think that, and, and I also want to just throw this out at the end and this will make sense maybe as we peel some of this back that I don't know if it's success that I want to coach people to define versus a broader vision. Mm right? Like a broader vision for quite frankly, their life that encapsulates a successful business. Like, right. And money is a conversation in that time is a conversation in that, like (laughs) how you want to be remembered is a conversation around that. And those are the things, connection, relationships, like all these different things embody success to your point versus just going, the main thing today is that just slow down and pause, have you given deeper thought to what success means to you? Is your definition of success, this is the deep red in the pool. Yes. Um, Is your definition of success because your parents imposed something on you or because you grew up in a certain lifestyle or because you grew up here and, you know, you grew up in urban America, but you really want to be in rural America, but that doesn't equal success because you live in a little tiny house. Like, anyway, I just want you to explore that because that's the starting point. And I, I, I could not leave the session without talking about this because it was a recent discovery of mine. And I'd love to get your intake on this, Ted. Um, it was, a, again, I know I talk about him all the time, Eckhart Tolle, and it was like a little section on success. And he said, you cannot become successful. You can only be successful. It is not an end point. It is a continuation, right? Yeah. So if you are stressed out, angry, burnt out in order to get to this goal. How is that success with the whole journey was yeah. memory? Right? I love that. I love that. Very so, true. I think with, with next next few sessions we'll break down these different pillars break it down. talking about and really help you define it. But I would like you right now to start painting the picture right Ted of what they think what what has been imposed on you when it comes to success and then what you really want it to be. And then we'll give you some tools on how to clarify and paint that picture a little bit clearer. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Awesome. Wonderful. We'll see everybody soon. Thank you guys. Bye. Take care.